Hello, okay, I just got back from a trip to a new archive today, but before I talk about that, I thought I'd talk about one of the things that I actually really do love about France and that is making me happy at the moment, which is this thing in France called a formule. Um, and I think it exists in some places in the US, but it's just super common in France, um, which I love, which is basically when you go out to eat, they will make things i don't know if this is like uh actually true but it feels like they make things less expensive by saying okay if you get like a sandwich it's this price but if you get a sandwich a dessert and a drink it's this price and it's not that much more so today for seven euros and 20 cents i got a sandwich which is just like a basic sandwich and then i got a drink I don't even drink soda all that much, but I was like, sure, let's go for it. And then I got a pastry, which this time I got a religieuse is what they're called. And it's one of my favorite pastries. I'll just take it out to show, even though I'm not gonna eat it first. It looks like this, like, like, are you kidding me? Like that looks so good. I used to get this all the time when I was Working in France as a teacher, I would go after school and get one of these. I was kind of in the mood for something a little more fresh, like a strawberry tart, but it was calling to me and I had to get it. So I'm starving because it is 3 p.m. I worked without a break for five hours today and I didn't eat lunch. And so I'm so ready to eat food. So I'm gonna eat food and then check back in. Another day has gone by and I, didn't film anymore yesterday. It was a mistake to not eat lunch. And I said, Catherine, you're not gonna do that again today. But I kind of did it again. And I also am treating myself with a pastry before I cook myself an actual meal. But the thing is like, when you get to an archive, you just don't wanna leave because it's just very complicated to do that. And I didn't really feel like taking any breaks because of the way the archive kind of turned out today. So I'm going to eat a nice little strawberry tart let's see if i can pick this one up and show the camera i'm gonna eat this raspberry tart and then i'm gonna cook myself an actual meal and then hopefully fill you guys in on this new archive and what i've been getting up to the last two days day three of coming home from this new archive i am exhausted but at least it's only two today and i'm sitting down to eat lunch so that's better than the other days but the reason I came home early is because I'm so exhausted. I have the worst headache. I have not been very good about staying hydrated since I arrived. I'm someone who has to go to the bathroom a lot and there's not a lot of public bathrooms around in France and if you can't find them sometimes they're just like really gross and there's also not a lot of water fountains places so I tend to just almost like dehydrate on purpose so that I don't have to go to the bathroom or find one, but don't do that, that's dumb. And my body is now paying the price. Uh, so I had to wrap it up for the day. That's okay, I got through a lot more things this morning. And yeah, I'll go back tomorrow, but I am trying to listen to my body since I didn't listen to my body for an entire year while studying for exams. I'll stop talking about the exams at some point, but not for the moment. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just like trying to listen to my body and rest when my body tells me rest in this little period of recovery. So I'm gonna eat this sandwich and then honestly, oh, I do have a new treat today. This one is a strawberry tart. I think yesterday I had raspberry. Holy cow, these pastries amazing okay i'm gonna eat my sandwich and then honestly i'm gonna like take a nap <laughs> okay we are back from another day at the archives and today we have a raspberry okay there we go we have a raspberry macaron and maybe today i'll finally update you on all the archive work i've been doing we'll see <laughs> All right, I never did an introduction to this video, so if you've made it this far, I'm sure by now you already know. My name is Catherine, and I'm a third year PhD student, and I'm gonna tell you all about 
my week at the archive. So I'm currently on a two month research trip in Paris, France, doing some preliminary research for my dissertation. The goal is to go visit probably around four archives throughout the summer and see what's in there. While I was putting together my prospectus, I made a list of different archives and what was in there, but the thing is, even if something is listed, you don't really know if it's gonna be beneficial or what exactly it could bring to your project. So my goal is to see what the documents are that I believe I'm interested in and to see if they would actually help my research or not. So with that, this past week, I went to the archives of APHP, which is Assistant Public Hôpital de Paris. I think um, and it's basically like the all the documentation of the public hospitals in Paris so coming here my primary goal was to look at different documentation from the maternity wards at hospitals during the First World War there were a lot of documents that I could not look at because of medical privacy laws um, in France if the date if the death date of the individual is unknown, you cannot access the files until 125 years after. And I'm about 10 years short for most of the archives and documentations that I want to look at. And the reason my project is a little bit difficult is because a lot of the things I'm looking at are registers or like consultations that have many different people. So it's impossible to just look at one person within these, within these registers, even if you do know the day of death. So a way around that is I was able to consult all of the death registers for these hospitals during the war which i actually did find incredibly helpful i looked at them for a variety of hospitals and a variety of maternity wards and they list a little bit of information about either the mother or in some cases it was an infant who had died and the reason of death and one of the reasons i'm interested in doing this is because my project is all about motherhood motherhood during world war one and i am trying to see if there are any links between a time of war, a state of war, and a physical impact on women's and mothers' uh, bodies more specifically. And so I was trying to see if in the death registers there was any documentation of like specific stress perhaps that doctors were attributing of the war to the reason for, for the mother's death. There were a few nice people who granted me access to things that I normally wouldn't have had access to and so I was able to look at a few registers from the maternity wards and the like register of deliveries and I did see a few instances where babies were born prematurely and the doctor wrote that the women were stressed about aerial bombing so it seemed to imply that because of their stress their body went into early labor. So I am finding some interesting connections. Um, it's one of the places where I think I could definitely go back. I just don't want to spend too much time at one archive. So I'm off to the next archive this week. I will be going to the Archives de Paris, the Paris archives, which are located like north east of the city i think they're going to be the farthest archives i've been to so far so i'm going to have to plan my days pretty well um i guess one last thing i should address with these archives very briefly is maybe the policy and procedure for this specific archive so for this archive i would arrive every day um and the first day i had to get a reader's card and every day after that you have to give them a piece of um, identity so i would usually use my passport perhaps a driver's license might also be fine and they would kind of have that while i was looking at the archives and then for this place they have specific hours where once you submit requests they will bring the materials to you so there's one at 9 30 one no 9 30 11 15 1 30 and the last one of the day was three so you had to make sure that you submit your request before those times once the requests go through it takes about 30 minutes for them to get the materials and bring them back to you so if you don't have your requests ready to go you can do a lot of waiting around which i had to do one of the days which was kind of a bummer 
Um, but yeah, and then you could just consult the archives as long as you wanted. Um, no food or drink are allowed in there. You were allowed to take pictures of pretty much everything. I didn't encounter any issues with that. But yeah, um, the archives of Paris 